You're supposed to eat it like a cake. We're gonna go ahead and cut into it. 614 Life here with another cooking video. You're welcome. So today we're gonna be making my famous cast iron griddle pancakes, blueberry pancakes to be exact. You can also do chocolate chips or you can do plain. The recipe's the same, you just don't add the blueberries and the chocolate chips and vice versa. So what you're gonna need for this recipe is you're gonna need some good old buttermilk, maple syrup, lemon for some lemon zest, blueberries, farm fresh cage-free eggs, baking soda, baking powder, kosher salt, all-purpose flour, you probably know by now from my cooking videos, some butter, brown sugar. So without further ado, let's get on to the recipe. So the first step in this recipe is you're actually gonna take the cast iron skillet, it's gonna be an eight inch, and you're gonna put it in the oven while it's preheating to 350 degrees, because you wanted this to be a little warm um, before you start the, the cooking process. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that in the oven, preheat it to 350. Okay, so I'm gonna have all the measurements in the description below, so I'm just gonna tell you what I'm putting in, and then if you want the measurements, just go to the description, and the entire recipe will be there. So we're gonna go ahead and put the flour in, like so, the brown sugar, the baking powder, or in baking soda, the kosher salt, and the lemon zest. We're just gonna go ahead and give that a quick little stir, get all those dry ingredients mixed together. So the wet ingredients, we have the buttermilk, two eggs, your melted butter, and your maple syrup. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna just go ahead and whisk all this together until it's pretty fairly mixed up. And then we're gonna dump it into the dry ingredients. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pour this in, pour a little bit in, mix it, pour a little bit more in, mix it. You get the idea until it's completely combined. Once you get it all mixed up like this, this is where we're, now we're gonna, we're gonna put the blueberries. Um, we're gonna fold them in. So what that means is you don't really mix it hard. You just kind of go like this so you don't damage the blueberries in the process. So now that that's done, we are literally just waiting for the oven to preheat. And when the oven's preheated, we take the pan out and we're gonna go to the next okay. step. The pan has preheated in the oven. Now we're gonna take a fourth of stick of butter and we're gonna go ahead and kind of butter up the pan like so. And it should melt pretty easily because the pan's so hot from the oven. We're gonna turn on the medium heat and we're gonna actually melt the butter down all the way. And then we're gonna go to the next step. Okay, once the butter is looking like that, kind of bubbling a little bit, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the, we're gonna add the mixture. I know it's gonna look like it's really full. It's, that's because it is. Um, it will not overflow in the oven, I promise, when it cooks. And we're actually gonna cook it on the stove top for two minutes and then we're gonna put it in the oven. So once it's done cooking for two minutes on the stove top, in the oven for 25 at 350. Again, the, the pan is really hot, so be very careful when you do this because it has been in the oven at 350 for a while. Um, and don't spill it. It's been 25 minutes, so we took it out of the oven and it's right there. We're gonna let it sit there for about one minute and then we're gonna get on to taking it out of the pan. The, the pan, it's very hot. The skill is very hot, so you have to be careful not to burn yourself. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and flip it over and boom, falls out. It's so thick. I know, that's what she said. But seriously, look at this. This pan's cool, by the way. Oh my God. So let's go ahead and, uh, you're supposed to eat it like a cake. We're gonna go ahead and cut into it. There you go, and it's all of its glory. Look at that thing. So you can obviously put some Cool Whip on it, some maple syrup, but that's how you eat this big old pancake. Um, so again, we cook it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. You wanna take a, a toothpick and stick it into the, into the pancake before it comes out of the oven. And if you pull a toothpick out and there's some um, some dough on it, it's not done. We did that and it was, it was done at 25 minutes, but sometimes depending on the oven, it might take a little bit longer. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. If you did, I want you to like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers. Season four life. Peace and you're welcome.